Just recently we made a film uh, about three ultimate performance cruising catamarans. These are catamarans which are light, fast, very comfortable and affordable. Atlantic designed by Chris White, uh, Cybercut designed by Tim Mambi and a Looping uh, designed by Patrick Lüscher. We got uh, so many uh, positive response, comments and so on, uh, that uh, we see that's a very important topic for cruisers, uh, for catamaran uh, people and for people who will become cruisers. So we decided uh, to continue this series. Whenever we meet a boat which fits into this category, uh, we uh, film the boat, make an interview with the owners and show the, the pluses and uh, minuses of this boat. We are here uh, with Isabel and Bruno. Uh, we are here on a Outremer 45, uh, one other of the fast, uh, comfortable cruising catamarans. Old generation. Old generation, that's important. Donson. It was designed by Donson. Yeah. Uh, this was the old guy, just to explain. Uh, Donson died and then another company took over. Uh, actually took the name and the reputation of Outremer and built completely different boats. Well, they, they are okay, yeah, they're but... They're okay, they're, 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 they're okay, but they are different in a way, yes. I think at the end it's not too bad, but it's so expensive that, uh, you know... It's expensive and it's heavy, I The think. 45, well, no, in terms of speed, you know, I've sailed with uh, the new one, and in terms of speed, it's about the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would say, yeah. So but, uh, but, but it's uh, around, uh, you know, I would say 700,000. So no, it's, uh, it's not yeah, 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 yeah. So how long you are living on board? Three we years. have been three years. For cruising you decided to have a catamaran. Yes. Why a catamaran and not a monohull? So I wanted to change. We had before an aluminium uh, boat, you know, OVNI, OVNI 43. So with a lifting keel, we thought that we uh, would like to have something a little bit more speedy, you know, and uh, maybe uh, more more stable something with more rooms, there more, more rooms uh, here in the catamaran and uh, we we decided to go to sail uh, in caribbean so we uh, we thought it was a, a good uh, okay you wanted the catamaran we, we, why, want, uh, we yeah. wanted the catamaran why an outremer said that was a perfect boat and the speed you know the way the way it was built you but know comfortable also it was, uh, well, it was what big. is comfort for you? Uh, not too speed, too speed to uh, <laughs> you see, uh, like uh, regatta or something. Uh, it's a balance it's, between, it's a balance it's a between, balance between, um, between uh, the speed and the comfort. So inside uh, we we are in, like in a cold cocoon. So. Uh, in fact, uh, if I, if I may say personally, what I like very much in a, in, in a cat, so that may apply to all the cats that you can move, you know even when you are, you know, you have headwinds, you know, you can move and you don't have to grab everywhere, you know, so, uh, so I think to me this is most feature because at the end you are more relaxed. Uh, when we are in on the sea, uh, we you feel so, safe. We, we, yes. You, you don't get tired, get tired or yeah. okay. So uh, you are talking about speed. So you are racing sailors. No, no. But we like to go uh, faster. When I came, in fact, from uh, Cap Verde to uh, Cabo Verde to uh, uh, Martin, it took eleven days. You know. Uh, and we had uh, quite light wind, you know, it was uh, 10 to 15 knots, you know, uh -huh. the sea was flat, 10 to 15 knots, and 10 days was quite... Uh, and, and in so fact, what, what, what speed you are making if it's, uh, let's say, 10 knots of wind? 10 knots of, uh, 10 knots of, of wind, uh, I would say, uh, if we put the Genacker, it's uh, an average of uh, 8 knots. Mm -hmm. eight, that's what uh, a performance catamaran is for me. It's 
very rare, you know, that we are turning the engine on. Yeah. Uh, there are some uh, YouTubers uh, calling themselves experts, uh, comparing 10 uh, catamarans to each other. And the most important question was after the woodwork, uh, was the place of the steering station. How often uh, uh, you sit or stay on the steering station? Never. I've always the autopilot working, you know. It's about air conditioner. We don't need it, in fact, uh, even in the uh, Caribbean uh, there is always uh, wind inside, uh, no, we are not uh, ready uh, for uh, air conditioning. Uh, we are asking because some YouTube channels uh, are, <laughs> are telling you, you have to have an air conditioner. Oh, nice. but, uh, no, I would, I would, I would not consider because then you have to have a big generator, all what is around, so it's going to be troubles again. Question: uh, How heavy is the boat, the empty boat? Ah, empty. I could say I don't. Empty it's supposed to be about 8 tons, you know. So it's, this is what the light wing performance is, uh, is like and, 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 and the shape of the hearse, you know, mm. they are quite narrow. But there is no space for 9 toilets then and No, bathrooms. no, 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 we have, we have just 2 and it's, yeah, it's enough, you know, especially when you have a lake. Two, two toilets is enough to, to be repaired, yeah. You know, I see some people, for example, a friend of mine who bought a Leopard, so this boat inside is nice because you have a lot of room. He has four large uh, cabins, you know, but he's alone. So most of his cabins left uh, are, are, saying em are left empty, you know, most of the time. So I don't see the value, you know. So we have only two. We have a small one at the front, at the peak, and two. A very small one. And two nice, you know, at the back. And because we are using uh, we are using cabins, what the value of having uh, so many cabins with so many toilets and never using? It's for charter. That's for what they are built. Actually, that's yeah, yeah no, that's what yeah, absolutely. To... But when you are a couple of uh, two people, sometimes maybe you have a guest. You know, yeah, once okay. a year you have yeah. like, two guests. People always have the idea going upwind with the catamarans is uncomfortable. All the monorail people have this idea, but this is no, the opposite of what you say. No, yeah, I would say with this one, you know, Sometimes when, when you know... Sometimes when the sea is, not, uh, is rough, uh, we can uh, have a sea... But compared to the monorail... No, 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 yeah, definitely. Ah, yeah, no, you're never Isabel, when, we, when we know that we have to go headwinds, you know, we are not anxious as we were, you know, with a with a monohull because we know that it's going to lean, we are going again to grab every, everywhere uh, and, 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 and we do it, we are, we are less anxious about headwind than we, we were with a monohull before, I think, yeah. So the idea mon uh, cats don't like to go upwind is not right? Yeah, yeah no, 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 on the catamaran. it depends on the cat. This one, uh, this one I think is not, uh, and, the, and uh, something which is very important also, this is the level uh, of the platform, you know. Usually performance cat, they have the deck which is quite, you know, uh, high uh, above the water, you know, and then doesn't splash, you know, smash, the water is not smashing always and it's very noisy. When you are going on the lagoon, you, very often you have, you know, on the table which is moving and everything which is on the table, you know, get rid of the table, you know, and here nothing is moving, nothing gets, and it's very unfrequent that we have a wave, you know, hitting the, the boat below. Humans cruising catamarans have the idea, uh, people have the idea they are very expensive, so uh, 
For me, in, in used, uh, a used boat, if I look to a fountain Peugeot or whatever, they are pretty expensive. So, uh, what what is a boat like this? But, the, but there is quite a, a large range of, of prices, even for this type of boat. You know, uh, this boat, this boat, I think had was uh, four, six year old. I don't remember exactly, but it was it was quite new. We bought it uh, three hundred and fifty uh, thousand uh, euros. Mm. The lowest price that you you can find for a boat, which would be uh, uh, maybe 250,000 euros. Thank you for showing us your nice instrument.